In this video, I'm going to show you how to attack the seams or the verticals out of the YOP Trips Pats offense in Madden 23. If you want to get my entire uh, U Trips or YOP Trips Pats offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. Now, this is my favorite way to attack the seams um, out of the U-Trips formation, which I think is super necessary because if you if you run U-Trips right, you're probably going to get a lot of zone. And even more than that, you're probably going to get a lot of cover two zone. And this play is going to absolutely destroy it. So the play is Pat slot out. And what we want to do with this play is we're going to flat our slot receiver. We're going to streak our tight end. We're going to put our outside trips receiver on a fade route. And then we're going to wheel our running back. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion this flat route to the left side. Now, if it's man coverage, um, you do have to be a little careful. The main read that you're going to have if it's man coverage is really this one-on-one -on -one over the top. Now, seams is not something you're going to want to live with if you are facing man-to-man, -man, especially like cover to man. Cover to man, really, generally speaking, is probably going to do a pretty decent job uh, against the seams. But I will show you, if they don't have safety help and you know that it's man coverage, if you just streak this outside trips receiver, and he has short out elite, you're going to see that a lot of times he's going to get separation against that man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the other thing that I wanted to quickly point out is let's say that they do go cover zero, uh, or co not cover zero, but cover two man with two high safeties. Uh, what you're going to see is this running back route. You can basically kind of throw this running back route in a soft spot. You're going to free form and high ball it up into the outside, and you see that that can attack that coverage as well. So those are your two main reads if you get man coverage. You're either looking to hit that right side player. If they do have safety help over on that right side player, then you're wanting to look to see, can I hit my, can I hit my running back? Now, if you wanted to, honestly, you can leave the tight end on this post. Um, that can be another read for you in the middle of the field against man-to-man. -man, and it's still going to attack the seam part of the field. You'll see right on that cut right there. But it's still kind of not the best man being route. This play in general is not a primary play we're going to call if our opponent is just running a ton of man coverage. We're probably going to call some type of shallow cross or even wide cross style of passing concept like this where we can take advantage of these crossers against man-to-man man man coverage. So just kind of an FYI. But this can still beat man. You have the, the deep fade on the right, and then you have that they're going to have to respect, and then you also have the running back wheel. Now another thing that you have is if they are going ahead and, I guess, playing you with like a cover one man, this route to CD Lamb sometimes can actually get over the top as well. So that's worth a look as well. So again, you're just looking for the one-on-one -on -one and trying to take advantage of that opportunity. But where this play uh, really shines is its ability to attack any zone, specifically any cover two zone. So what we're gonna do is we've got the same exact setup but against cover two zone, what you're going to notice is this route to CD Lamb a lot of times is going to basically be able to just burn the cover two deep over the top for a potential one play touchdown, as you can see right there. Super effective route combo against cover two. Another thing, and this is why it's really important that you streak your tight end, or at least get him going downfield vertically, is if you're anticipating zone, make sure that you're fading that outside trips receiver, because what he'll do is if they are in cover two, you can freeform up into the outside this streak against cover two and have a pretty good chance to hit this over the top. So against cover two, we've got really both outside seams are going to be wide open against those zones. Now, another zone that you're going to get is you're probably going to get some cover four. And this is where this running back route becomes super important in this play. If you get anything that's, if you get cover four, you're going to be able to throw that running back route right in that little pocket of the defense, just like that, as you can see. And so what this, what this does is it's going to pull the user out of the middle of the field, and the user is now going to have to go guard the running back. The problem is if the user comes out of the middle of the field, even for a split second, what you can do here is you can freeform inside 
this route to George Kittle, and <laughs> hopefully he'll catch it um, and animate. But basically, you can throw the ball to George Kittle to the inside as long as they're, you know, not there's nobody in the middle of the field. So again, they're going to be using over here, and then chances are they're going to maybe try to be running some kind of, you know, Mabel concept over to the other side because we've been attacking the outsides on either side, right? Now we're attacking the seams, and so if there's no one right in here. You see there, I can throw the ball to my tight end if the user vacates that middle of the field. So this concept becomes very effective for attacking a lot of different things. Now another concept that you're gonna, or another another thing that you need to be aware of is this uh, play specifically against cover three. So if you're getting any kind of cover three, generally speaking, the cover three is gonna be stronger to the tight end side. So when you motion this flat across, you're gonna get this seam that you can freeform to the inside and basically aggressive catch just like that. Now again, against cover four or cover three, the same thing is gonna be open in terms of the running back route. You're gonna be able to hit your running backs against this over and over again. So you see here, their cover three, I can throw that right in that little seam and it just super effective against you know any zone coverage in the game. So you're able to attack zone coverage really, really, really well uh, with this play. Now you're also able to attack match coverage in kind of some unique ways as well. What you're gonna see here is like, let's say that they are running any kind of match concept, uh, your running back's gonna be kind of your main read as well. Now again, same kind of thought process is if they, they go guard the running back, then the, the middle of the field becomes wide open. Um, I'll show you one other thing you can do with this play that's actually really good against man here in just a second. But see here, I'm just going to quick throw that over the middle and take what the defense gives me. Now, another way to run this, it's not as good against like hard flats and stuff, but it's better against man, um, is to streak everybody on the right side. So everybody's on a streak. We're still going to wheel the running back. But what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to snap this this streak in motion just like this. And as soon as the defensive back turns his hips, we're going to basically try to ag them by high pointing it up and outside to that outside receiver. So this is a little better against main coverage because you're going to have a one on one because you're running off all of the zones. Right. So here we go. Boom. You don't even have to high point it. Just throw it past lead it to the outside and you should be fine. You don't even have to freeform it at all. But the other thing that this gives us is an advantage against a couple of different defenses uh, that you're going to face. One of those defenses being shaded down man. So if they're in shaded down man, and I run this with the, with the three streak process, even if they have safety help, the safety is gonna be drawn uh, to going and bagging uh, CD Lamb. So then what we can do is we now have a one-on-one -on -one to this, this player right here. So it gives us one-on-ones across the board. What it does for us against zone, and it's unlike any other formation in the game, um, U-trips, this, this is unlike any other formation in the game against zone, this seam read route that CD Lamb is on is gonna pull all of the zones. So all you have to do is wait, and you can throw that right in that little pocket just like that. So it really gives you some flexibility uh, as well. You know, if you want to have something that is a little better against man or against against man, and also uh, against the blitz, you could also angle the back. Um, if you angle the back, now that gives you kind of a clean read over the middle of the field, just like that right there. And then it also opens up that you still get that same uh, concept with that seam read. Uh, on the right. So that's the beauty of this offense is that you can do stuff like this. And if you have, if you do get man coverage, right, you might be able to throw your corner or you can kind of put a route, however you want to put the route over here on the left side. Now, another way you could do it is run a slant post concept like this. And now you have a seam uh, to, to the, to the tight end. So there's a lot of different ways to create the seams idea uh, from this, but I personally really like having the ability to attack the seams just like this right here. And then, you know, if, if they are going to go man, oftentimes I can make a big play by hitting my running back just like that. So 
that's how I like to run this. We showed you the, the routes and how they get open against cover two, cover three, cover four, as well as main coverage and match. So make sure to utilize this if you're running U-trips. If you want to get my entire U-trips offensive ebook, or if you just want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Ten bucks gets you access to all of our ebooks, including the U-trips offense.